Welcome everybody to the 2018 Junior World Championships. My name's Tim Baghurst, looking in on a boys 18s semifinal, Mexico, Bolivia. Always exciting to see these two countries. Always competitive, these two countries. Both players competing for their team as well in team points. Serving first, Lalo Portillo from here in San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Receiving Fernando Ruiz Michel from Bolivia. Splat winner to start for Ruiz. Side out. Serve was a little loose from Portillo. Portillo is supported by coach Ruben Martinez. Sitting to just to my left. And further along. Wow, skip serve. Ruiz. You don't see that very often. Felipe Mercado. And some other Bolivian players looking on further over to my left. What a get, Portillo. When great defense. But that's too good for Muiz. Second splat winner. This should be an amazing match. Portillo, the finalist last year, losing out to American Mauro Rojas in the final. Soft hands from Portillo. Side out again, 0-0. Zero, zero. Serve provides a setup in the middle. That's just too good, straight down the right side. First point in favor of Mexico. Well, if you're just joining us, we've already had a match on this court. Aguilar in the boys' 14s overcame Hansen, Bolivia over U.S. in two straight. Congratulations to him, the Bolivian. Portillo again, showing some control of that ball. That's what he's known for. Able to change pace. A very intelligent player, makes good decisions most of the time. Ruiz loves the pinches and splats and has a very powerful serve. Ruiz will want that one back. Ran around to take that on his forehand. Might highlight how uncomfortable he is with that serve. Three serving zero for the Mexican. He's been playing a little bit on the professional tour this year. What a get, Ruiz. Portillo, a little squash shot. Wasn't great, but he got a better look and another point. I talked to Portillo last night, said, what's your plan against Ruiz? Said, well, Ruiz hits it hard all the time, and so I just have to be patient. He will give me opportunities. And right now, that's exactly what's happening. Here's another one. And again. Not that time, side out. Good start from the Mexican, Ruiz. Skipped his first serve in. Hits his drive serve over to the left very frequently. You can see that's where he's aiming. We've seen him on our stream so far this week a few times. 
Of course, in a memorable match against Mexico in the doubles. Played extremely well in that tiebreaker as Bolivia overcame Mexico 11-9. Skip. Portillo wants the replay. And uh, Munoz says, you need to ask for it. And I agree with her. That's a good decision. She allowed Portillo to take that shot. Portillo didn't ask for the replay. So play continued. Clean hitting from Ruiz. Look at the wrist. He looks back to his coach. A little lower, says his coach. Just came off the back wall. Well, I hope you're enjoying this. Thanks for sharing the feed. Appreciate your support of international racquetball. What a serve. No, second serve called. Thought that was just over. Disagreement among us in the commentary box. And a skip from Portillo. Three serving four. This glass is very difficult to see the ball, but Portillo, splat rollout. Can't do it any better. Made it look easy. I've been on these courts this week, and these, this glass wall is really difficult to see. You have the green on the right, along with the blue from the stands. Touch shot from Portillo, gives him the look, but he doesn't put it down. That time he does, again controlling the pace of the ball. It's especially difficult in the evening when it's dark outside of the court. You get the black on the right side with the gearbox black ball and the, the ball just vanishes. Great pickup, Portillo. Not that time, great effort. Just a little slow to get up off the floor. Three serving five, side out. Great camera angles, showing Portillo covering a lot of court in that rally. That's what Ruiz needs. Good serve, poor return, three shot rally. Another great serve from Ruiz down the right side. All square now. Portillo with the early lead at 4-0. Ruiz has found his serve, and I mentioned how important that was to him. Portillo just pushing the ball back to Ruiz, allowing Ruiz to be the aggressor in this rally. Finally, he puts one down. Martinez wasn't too happy with Portillo. Wanted to see Portillo really attack it. But I do like how Portillo took the ball early in the middle of the court and ripped it for a reverse pinch winner. Little instruction from his coach. You can just see him over on the right side of your screen when we have that back camera angle down at the bottom. Wow. Great shot, Ruiz. Little fist pump. 
Takes a lot of confidence to hit that shot. And another return error from a good serve from Ruiz. Good serve in that he got the point. It was just so hard it came flying off the back wall. Two great shots from Portillo, sets him up in the middle. Smart shot down the right side. Ruiz looking for the pinch. Side out. Good start to this match. Just short. That's an excellent shot. Stayed low, flick of the wrist, flat roll out. Six serving six. This is the semifinal. Loser goes home with an automatic bronze, but neither of these players want that. They're looking for something of a different color. Luis, again, he's a little more emotional than Portillo right now. Really impressed us in the commentary box this week, Ruiz. Certainly added some power to his game from drive serves like that. Just a bullet. And again. Oh, Portillo thinks the ball's broken. Oni can be checked with the squeeze like he just did, but it's not. And it's another point for Bolivia. Portillo slowing things down. Gets the second serve. Ruiz is really highlighting the value of a powerful drive serve. Even a couple times where it's not been the best serve, he's earned points because of it. What a get, Portillo. And Ruiz went for the reverse pinch. Little too much. We're gonna have a timeout on the court by Mexico. We're gonna be back in just a minute after we say thank you to our sponsors. What's the Olympic dream? The Olympic dream is hard work, it's dedication, drive, and discipline, but it's also what you can't see. It's what's happening behind the scenes. Training our referees, executing anti-doping programs, and it's all of us coming together as a sport. The future of racquetball is the 2028 Olympics. You can pursue the Olympic dream with a donation to the International Racquetball Federation. Go to internationalracquetball.com and pursue the Olympic dream today. We're back everybody. 2018 Junior World Championships, the 30th held here this year in Centro Deportivo in La Loma, San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Great venue, great action all week. And now it comes down to the best four in each division. We have a full list of matches coming up for you today. Very excited to show you what these juniors can do. And again, Ruiz running around to hit that forehand. I'm, I'm really surprised by that. Oh, great rally. 
Both players hitting some clean shots, but Ruiz puts the last one down. Good serve off the glass, set up, skip. Looks like we're gonna see the Z to the left side again. Why not, Ruiz is struggling with it. Another good Z, Portillo. Wow, flat winner from Ruiz. Portillo took that too high. Mentioned more matches coming up this week, or excuse me, today. Those are on our Facebook page and also our website. Times to be determined. We've got a list of the matches scheduled, but because we don't know how long some of these matches will take, we didn't put times on them. Good rally again, straight down the middle. This time it's the Mexican who puts it down. The, two, the next two matches were scheduled at the same time. And so efforts are being made to move one of them. But right now, we don't know which one will be moved. I'll let you know as soon as I know. What a get, Portillo. Was it a skip? It was a skip, side out. It was close. Over to my right, Miranda from Bolivia watches on. He'll be playing Fernandez from Mexico in the semifinal, a repeat of the final from a year ago in the 16s. What a match that was. It's on our YouTube channel. Just look for International Racquetball Federation. And be sure to subscribe. Six serving eight. Good serve. Put down by Portillo. He makes it look so easy. Very casual, but executed perfectly. 7-8. Smart shot, Portillo. Fist pump from him. It's all square. Scrambling to the front. Always difficult, what should you do? He made a smart shot. Foot fault. So Portillo's foot completely crossed that line closest to the front wall. It's allowed to step on it, not allowed to completely cross over it. Our official for this match, Maria Paz Munoz from Ecuador international and professional player herself, thanks to her and all the other referees contributing this week. Timeout, Bolivia. Well, back and forth we go. The Mexican claimed the last couple points. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back with you. We'll see what Ruiz can do. The Gearbox leather sticks to my hand like it is my skin. The best feeling in the world, you pull that thing out of the package and you can kind of just feel it still molded in, into the way they packaged it. It honestly is one of the best feelings ever. You put the new glove and you're like, I got this. It's so light and so like comfortable that I feel like I'm playing with, with my bare hand. The grip is a lot better, so I love having new gloves.
Eight serving eight, it's the score. Back and forth in this semifinal. Both players trying to get to a gold medal opportunity. Portillo playing in front of his home crowd, a resident of San Luis Potosí. Ruiz earns his points on his serve, creating opportunities to attack. Little fist pump from Portillo. Doesn't usually get too animated, but he knows how important this is, not only for his team, but this is his last year at juniors and he wants to go out on top. Again, Portillo hitting the floor. Looks, looks like Ruiz has an issue with his racket. That's an equipment timeout. He's got 30 seconds to replace it. Over to my right, lots of horns and clacking and noise because USA and Mexico are battling on my right. USA took the first. Mahoney, 15-12, leads 8-6 in the second. Ruiz also looking to go out on top his last year. Miranda and Fernandez in our next semifinal. They have one more year left. So a lot on the line for these two. Big skip from Ruiz, backhand side. These are very, very fast courts. It's hard to describe. I mean, you can see how quick they are on your screen, but it's, it's just not the same as being here. We're using the gearbox black ball. It's a little bit slower than some of the other balls, but still, marble on the front, cement on the sides at altitude, and it really flies. Requires quick hands, fast feet to control this tempo, the speed of this gearbox black. Fault, but fault, and a long serve. Miranda watches on. Supporting his teammate. They want an all Bolivian final. Clean hitting from Portillo. Two points for the Mexican. Diego Garcia also watches on. Diego Garcia looking for a gold medal in the 16s. He lost out in the semifinals last year, 11 10 to Sebastian Fernandez. A serve. No, it was called short. Well, you can make up your own minds. That, was, that looked well clear to me. Players can ask for line judges, but we've, the whole week I've not seen line judges. Testament to the quality of referees. Okay, they make a few mistakes, but usually for both players but also just the, the respect that players have for these officials who come each tournament. What a serve, Ruiz. Catching Portillo. Couldn't recover. Nine serving 10. Smile from Ruiz. He knows that was a good serve.
Ruiz. Covering a lot of court. Portillo. Gets another look right down the middle. Went for the pinch. Back 35 feet. Ruiz in front of him. Probably should have passed. That's an all or nothing shot. It's 10 serving 10. Great match. Great first game. Hope you're enjoying this coverage, of course. These are the best of the best in juniors. And often we see these juniors transition into the professional realm. Often representing their country at the adult level after. Foot fault on Ruiz this time. Munoz keeping a good eye on those feet. Side out called. That's a tough call. I think a replay might have been better. Looked like Portillo just held up. Ruiz just needs to, to regroup. Like I said, referees, sometimes the calls go each way. Felipe Mercado, not too happy about the call, but shakes it off himself. Smart shot, Portillo down the right side using that glass. Ruiz went for the reverse pinch and left it up. Another smart shot, taking some pace off the ball. And it's 12-10 in favor of Portillo. Back and forth we go. It was 8-8. Then it was 10-8 in favor of Portillo. Then 10-10. Now it's 12-10. We'll take a quick break. We'll see if the Mexican can close this out. back everybody Tim Backhurst joining you with Team Chile at the controls thank them all the juniors for their help this week Gatsuka and Mancia with me they would be prefer to be playing unfortunately not in the tournament anymore so thanking them for their help as they provide the camera views and scoreboard Portillo Pushing Ruiz around the court and putting it down. Really well played. Thirteen ten, two points away from this first game. Skip ball, Ruiz, hoping for the kill, but that was a good call by Munoz. Game point number one coming up. It was 10-10. Portillo's won the last four. And again, Portillo showing control. He takes game one, 15-10. For the last five points were run by the Mexican. Ruiz has got two minutes to work out what needs to change. He's trying to stay in this match. We'll be back. What's the Olympic dream? The Olympic dream is hard work, it's dedication, drive, and discipline, but it's also what you can't see. It's what's happening behind the scenes. Training our referees, executing anti-doping programs, and it's all of us coming together as a sport. 
The future of racquetball is the 2028 Olympics. You can pursue the Olympic dream with a donation to the International Racquetball Federation. Go to internationalracquetball.com and pursue the Olympic dream today. The Gerbox leather sticks to my hand like it is my skin. The best feeling in the world, you pull that thing out of the package and you can kind of just feel it still molded in, into the way they packaged it. It's honestly, it's one of the best feelings ever. You put the new glove and you're like, I got this. It's so light and so like comfortable that I feel like I'm playing with, with my bare hand. The grip is a lot better, so I love having new gloves. Game one went to Portillo from Mexico. It was 10-10, he won the last five. Ruiz to serve first. Let's see if you can take this to a tiebreaker. Like he tried to take some pace off that drive serve. Skip ball, Portillo can't do that. It's a free point for the Bolivian. Sometimes this happens, the so two minutes just swings. Maybe the one who won the first game relaxes a little too much. Second one makes, the one who loses makes a couple of adjustments and suddenly you have a swing from winning to losing. It's important to maintain focus. Ruiz, the first two points, just what he needed. Wow, that was difficult. Ball kissed off the back and sidewall. Portillo rolled it. Interesting, <clears throat> sticking to this lob serve as a first serve. He knows how aggressive Ruiz is, and you can see Ruiz wanted to attack that. Excellent serve, set up, not put down. Replay will be the call. You can see Portillo pushing Ruiz left to right. Ruiz, I thought, was going to make it. Not quite. Portillo, you can see the left side of his shirt is tucked in, and the right side is not. That's deliberate. I saw him doing it before the match. Curious to know why. Smart for Ruiz. Portillo just a little too casual. Side out, Ruiz leads, 2-1. <laughs> but fault, several of those in this match so far. <laughs> Point given. Wow, that's a really difficult shot from Ruiz. Attacked it early. He's very aggressive in his play. 
Portillo a little bit more of a high percentage, if you will, passing as opposed to pinching. Ruiz prefers the pinch and the splat. And right now it's working. This time he goes wide angle. Clever shot, using the glass, getting behind Portillo. Portillo says, I need a timeout. I'm down 5-1. We'll take one ourselves. We'll be right back. What's the Olympic dream? The Olympic dream is hard work. It's dedication, drive, and discipline. But it's also what you can't see. It's what's happening behind the scenes. Training our referees, executing anti-doping programs, and it's all of us coming together as a sport. The future of racquetball is the 2028 Olympics. You can pursue the Olympic dream with a donation to the International Racquetball Federation. Go to internationalracquetball.com and pursue the Olympic dream today. And we're back as Bolivia leads. Five serving one in game two. If you're just joining us, this is boys 18 singles semifinal. We had three days of round robin to determine seedings. Top four seeds have advanced to the semifinals. Fernandez, Miranda, Mexico, Bolivia. Repeat of last year's 16 finals is the other semifinal we have. Six serving one. Portillo looks a little frustrated right now. He smiled, but you can sense it. I like the composure, taking a second to regroup. Smart shot down the line. If Portillo keeps Ruiz in the back, Ruiz struggles. As soon as Ruiz has his feet set, he hits a very good shot. Set up Ruiz. Put down, flat rollout, splat winner. Off the glass. He does like that shot on the forehand side. We've seen it all week. Good serve, good return, Ruiz shoots it. And there's where Ruiz can make the mistake. He's aggressive, he was on the left side. Portillo put him onto the right, he tried it again. Skips the ball, side out, 1-6. Not called, it looked like two bounces from here. And you'll see Ruiz not happy with the call, but Munoz made the correct call as far as she was concerned, the rules state. If you don't see a two bounce, you can't call a two bounce. It might seem like it, it could be, but if you don't see it, you can't call it. So play continued. That's where as players, if you don't hear the call, just keep going. Sometimes we see players just literally stop with their hands in the air or every other, rat, every other shot. It's not going to change it, not without lines judges. Portillo going for a little too much. Six serving two. Few mistakes in this second game from both players. I like Ruiz's smile though. He's able to laugh off some mistakes. He just flat missed it. Not beating himself too much for missing that. Portillo. Uh, 
I lob to the right coming up. Ruiz on his backhand this time. Oh my gosh. That's just too good. Wow. Ruiz goes for the jam. Not sure what. I think he was trying to change his glove. He can take a timeout, unless the glove is obviously defective. There's a hole in it or something like that. Most referees are not going to let you take that. Great defense from Ruiz, set up Portillo. Ruiz, he knew what Portillo was gonna do, just couldn't get it. Back and forth we go, we've been here for a while. Both players really looking for a serve that's going to give them some easy setup opportunities. Portillo back to the drive serve. But back to the middle with the Mexican and Ruiz put it down. Not a great drive serve, came off the back wall. There's the aggression from Ruiz. Deep in the back left, went for everything. Credit Portillo for the control he showed with his hands to put that down in the right side. Made it look easy, it certainly wasn't. Portillo, he knew what Ruiz was going to do. That'll be a replay. Glad to see he's okay. Good pick up from Ruiz. They're having a little smile. It's good to see they're enjoying the moment. Even though we are talking about a semifinal of the 18s, these two players won't be back to the juniors. This is their last year. Portillo having a laugh. But the ball broke as it hit him hard body that he has. Probably what he said anyway. Second serve coming up. Ball's a little bit slower when it's cold. And sometimes affect shots for a few minutes anyway. Hesitated Portillo was gonna swing, tried to move his feet and hit again, and just made the error on the glass. Really like how these two players just get on with it. No nonsense, no drama, very professional. Showing respect, some bad calls for both of them. Let it go, move to the next point. Fist pump from Ruiz. Finally, he gets away from six. He's been there for a while. Seven, seven, serving two. Good serve. Set up. Skip. He just needs to be consistent, Ruiz. Portillo, meanwhile, just haven't, hasn't found that serve that's just going to give him the opportunities to score easy points. That was better, came back to the middle. Hit down the right side, a lunge from Ruiz. Couldn't quite get there. Skip ball, point.
Textbook. That was a loose return for Ruiz this time. Portillo, backhand pinch winner. You don't see Ruiz going to the ceiling very much. Just an aggressive player, of course, then he does it. He got jammed. Wow, skip ball called. Bolivia over to my left say yes. Mexico closer to my left say no. Again, it's nice to see Portillo just kind of letting it go. No drama, no arguing. Next point, side out. Four serving seven. Very, very back and forth match. Punished by Ruiz. There's the timeout from him. He went for too much, left it up. Portillo puts one down again for another point. Five serving seven. Good timeout, I think, for Bolivia. We'll be right back. The Gerbox leather sticks to my hand like it is my skin. The best feeling in the world. You pull that thing out of the package, and you can kind of just feel it still molded in, into the way they packaged it. It's honestly is one of the best feelings ever. You put the new glove and you're like, I got this. It's so light and so like comfortable that I feel like I'm playing with with my bare hand. The grip is a lot better, so I love having new gloves. Five serving seven is the scoreline. Portillo, it was 10-10 in the first. He won the last five points, but he's down by two. Good timeout, I like the timeout from Bolivia. Portillo seems to have found some serves that created some poor returns from Ruiz. Again, Ruiz being very aggressive. I'd like to see him be a little more patient. That's better. Portillo has the whole court, doesn't put it down. Should be an avoidable hinder. Well, you could see that Portillo couldn't even move his backhand, a uh, backswing. Well, this is a situation where Munoz made the call. It looks like she's changed the decision. Shouldn't. Well, I'm not sure what's going on. She changed the decision. You saw Ruiz's animation of what? So it looks like she changed it back to the original decision. A replay, five serving seven. Once you make a decision, even if you realize maybe you've made that wrong decision, stick with it. The player is entitled to appeal to his opponent. Oh, what a get, Portillo. And again, wow, if he earns this. Good rally, Ruiz. Oh, wow. What a shot, Ruiz. Put that in the highlight reel. Great effort from the Mexican to stay alive in that point. But ultimately, Ruiz kept his cool, backhand down the line. Great entertainment. A serve from Ruiz, cracks out on the left side. Suddenly, you can see the Bolivian pumped up, ready to go. Ocho cinco, eight five.
So aggressive, Ruiz. Portillo. Puts it down, Ruiz. I like the aggression sometimes, but sometimes I just, he doesn't have to do that. Great defense from Portillo. You have to, to credit him with some forcing Ruiz to shoot and shoot and shoot and eventually got the opportunity. Nick Lobb to the left side, I think. It is. Skip ball, Ruiz. Three point Portillo. Ruiz looks to his coach, Felipe Mercado. 6'8. Very, very competitive second game. So was the first. Great defense from Ruiz that time. Catching Portillo, but he got it back. Wow. But Ruiz, too good. Backhand pinch winner. What a rally again. So good from both of these players. They're playing very, very well, you have to say. Smart shot, Ruiz hit the serve too hard, came off the back wall. Portillo, cross court, two bounces, side out. Portillo changing his drive serve position over to the left. Went right, little short. See if he goes with this Nick Lob again. That's what got him to skip ball last time. No. Oh, to the right this time. Cutting at the ball was Portillo. Interesting shot. He literally sliced that ball. So as it hit that front wall, it's spun down. Seven serving eight. So last two points Portillo's won have come from his Nick Lobb serve. One to the left, one to the right. We'll see if he sticks with it. We knew this would be a real, real dogfight. It's turned out to be that, I suspect. The next match will be just as competitive. Great get, Portillo. Oh my goodness, he got it again. Ruiz still has to put it away. Doesn't. Portillo. Oh, wow. What a rally again. Portillo stayed in the point so long, so athletic. Ruiz had opportunities, couldn't put it away. Eight serving eight, what a match. If you have friends and family who should be watching this, be sure to share our feed. This is incredible. Another get, Ruiz, straight down the line. Good choice that time. Portillo looking for the pinch. Looks like Portillo is asking, looks like he's got a hole in his glove. Oh no, he's bleeding. He's taking the skin off of his thumb. Wow, that should be an injury timeout. Contact with a surface should be an injury timeout. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be back with you very shortly. What's the Olympic dream? The Olympic dream is hard work, 
It's dedication, drive, and discipline. But it's also what you can't see. It's what's happening behind the scenes. Training our referees, executing anti-doping programs, and it's all of us coming together as a sport. The future of racquetball is the 2028 Olympics. You can pursue the Olympic dream with a donation to the International Racquetball Federation. Go to internationalracquetball.com and pursue the Olympic dream today. The Gearbox leather sticks to my hand like it is my skin. The best feeling in the world, you pull that thing out of the package and you can kind of just feel it still molded in, into the way they packaged it. It's honestly is one of the best feelings ever. You put the new glove and you're like, I got this. It's so light and so like comfortable that I feel like I'm playing with, with my bare hand. The grip is a lot better, so I love having new gloves. Welcome back, everybody. Tim Baghurst joining you for this boys 18 singles match between Ruiz from Bolivia and Portillo from Mexico. We are in an injury timeout. Portillo came to the back and showed Munoz his hand. From diving, he has taken some of the skin off of his thumb. It's not pretty, I can see it from here. And he's just getting some treatment, just getting some tape putting on his thumb. He's entitled to 15 total minutes of injury timeout. It doesn't look to be too serious. And I think we'll be back on the court in just a couple of minutes. Of course, a reminder that we're here in San Luis Potosi, the, the home actually of Portillo. And we have over 220 players here at the Junior World Championships from 10 and under up to 18s, which is this division you're watching. Players can be 19 technically if they their birthday uh, is after January 1st so Portillo for example is 19 and it's his last event here at the World Championships so too also for Ruiz it's his last this is the semifinals we have another semifinal coming up Fernandez from Mexico will be facing Miranda from Bolivia so Two Mexicos, two Mexicans, two Bolivians fighting to get to the final. Great entertainment for you. We hope you're enjoying it. We have all kinds of drama on these courts over on court one. We're in a tiebreaker between USA and Mexico. I'll try and keep you up to date with that. But here we go. Looks like Portillo is good. So Munoz stops the clock after four minutes. Portillo will have 11 minutes remaining for any injury. For example, if he falls and re-injures that thumb, he's allowed to take another injury timeout and add to that time, but he can't just take another timeout whenever he feels like it, my thumb hurts. Some crazy gets in this second game from Portillo. Here we go. Eight serving eight, Ruiz serving. That was, that was a long timeout. We'll see who it affects the most. Who does it help? Ruiz sticking with this lob down the right side. Short serve, Ruiz. Well, it helped Portillo. Double faulting. Can't do that in a semifinal. If you're interested in draws and matches results, they're on our website, internationalracquetball.com. Good ceiling ball, Ruiz. Good hands, Portillo. Gets his look. Skips the ball. Oh, 
It'll be interesting to see how this affects Portillo, the injury timeout. He's got tape on his thumb on the hand he uses to hit balls. Not exactly something you practice with, so we'll see if it affects the way he hits the ball. Doesn't appear to be because that's a perfect pass down the left side. Eight serving eight. We have skylights in this court and just above us. So as the sun moves across, as clouds move across, the light on the court changes. Some small dynamics for these players to, to uh, become accustomed to. Ruiz, Portillo stays alive, but the Bolivian doesn't put it down. Great hustle, and not that time on the left side. Again, Portillo, I like the fact he takes balls early. I know he plays a lot of squash. It's difficult to do, but if you can do it, you get your opponent out of position. Suddenly, for the first time, Portillo leads 9-8 in game number two. Good serve. Splat winner, fist pump Portillo. We mentioned who this would favor, the injury timeout. It's the Mexican who's taken those two points. Both players with a timeout available. Home crowd here behind me, full house. Great drama here at the Junior World Championships. Such quality between these players. And again, wow! That was tough. I'd like to see Ruiz just force Portillo into the back. Try not to be so aggressive. When he rolls balls, he's incredible, untouchable. Sometimes he takes that low percentage shot and leaves it up and Portillo is just too good. That's a loose serve, but put down by Portillo. Again, Ruiz had an opportunity. He's going to take a timeout. 12 serving eight is the score. Well, great run from the Mexican. Four points in a row. He's three points away. We'll be back after this break. We'll see if he can close out this match. Or will Ruiz take it to a tiebreaker? Portillo on the court first. He's ready to close this out. Four points in a row. He did exactly the same in game number one. It was 10-10 and he won the last five. It was 8-8, he's won the last four. Good timeout from Bolivia. We'll see if it helps. Ruiz has to put this down. Doesn't, gets another look. Jammed Portillo. I feel like Ruiz got away with one there, but he'll take it. The side out got him, excuse me, the timeout got him a side out. Very, very short serve. This is loose, coming off the back wall. Portillo, fist pump, perfect. Yeah. 
Portillo has actually won most of his points in the last few minutes from the Nick Lob. He kind of cuts over the top of it as he serves it. You can see it here. I'm sure he'll stick with what's been working. Be shocked if he doesn't. Kind of hits a little top spin over the top of it, so it hits the sidewall. Wow, Ruiz. It wasn't a great serve. That was inch perfect from Ruiz. That's where Ruiz wins his points. Great serve, jamming Portillo. A free point. Let's see if he can do it again. Tried to go down the right, fist pump. Munoz doesn't buy it. Good try. Not going to happen. Second serve. Good ceiling ball from Portillo. Gives him the opportunity. Why? Because Ruiz, again, very aggressive. Ruiz, definitely the more powerful of the two, but you can see the control that the Mexican has. Sticking with the high lob to the left side. Good serve. Steps up. Oh my goodness, so hard to do that. Beautiful. It requires such confidence to execute a shot like that. Two points away. Ruiz again being aggressive. Will he get the point? No, he won't. He won't get the point of the replay. Point, says Munoz from Ecuador. Match point Portillo. Pulled away. It was 8-8. It's now 14-9. He's found the serve that works. Ruiz goes to the ceiling. Where has that been in this match? Portillo, why did I do that? Well, it was match point. He was going for broke. But Ruiz forced him to shoot high. Long serve, second serve coming up. Smart shot, Ruiz. Portillo tried to go down the right side, came back to the middle. Point for Bolivia, he's not out of this. He needs this drive serve. He's earned some free points from it, but he's hit a lot of short. That's just smooth from Portillo. The second serve wasn't good. Match point number two. I'll be shocked if he doesn't hit a Nick Lobb. Well, he's gonna go for the ace. Or at least get a poor return from the drive. Here it is. What a shot. Cross court winner, what a match everybody. Great competition between these two quality players. But it's the Mexican Portillo in his home city, San Luis Potosi, who claims this match. 15-10, 15-10. Credit to Ruiz. He hit some great shots, but I think his aggression cost him in this match. Portillo showing a little bit more control and ultimately takes this match. Uh -huh.